Jeremy knows how important this year's brief is and is keen to know how much effort the chefs have put into finding new local suppliers. Tony, everything you're using could be had from very near close proximity well, to Kelly Castle. You could get everything within three miles of the castle. That's very, very impressive. That was one of the edges I got. Fabulous produce, great producers, great foragers, so... I think uh, when it comes down to the judging about the brief, I think I should get a gold star and a smiley face against it because 97% of the produce comes from the state or within the three miles, you can get all that stuff. So I think I've done really well there. And what of Alan's efforts? And a rapeseed vinaigrette with English mustard, is that quite a potent? I know, actually, I've done two vinaigrettes. I've done one with rapeseed oil and mustard, and I've done another very neutral one. Just using like a oh, right. uh, just I'm using a plain sure. vegetable oil and and white wine vinegar. Sorry, what did I hear you say rapeseed oil dressing on there then? With English mustard, is it? English mustard. So the rapeseed's from Scotland oil. It is. No, it English, says English. English. English mustard. I've got some no, Scottish rapeseed English oil rapeseed. for you if you'd like to give a wee well, test on. Well, I'm actually using that. So if you're going to be smart arses, let's get your faps right. <laughs> I hope Alan uh, remembers what the spirit of Scotland is. I'll maybe flash my tartan boxer shorts at him if I have to, you know. I'm getting a few jibes today about, you know, in, being based in England and, you know, having English ingredients. But at the end of the day, you know, I think that's a weak argument. If they want to be a big fish in a small pond, then that's up to them.